real quick intro. It is Saturday, October 26th, and uh, it's about 64 degrees. It's been raining since yesterday. That rain is supposed to start letting up tonight around 6 o'clock. Uh, it's gotten lighter now, so I'm going to slide back here, and uh, I'm after that tombstone, that big mainframe 8 point, which is actually a 9 point, um, or the no-brow buck, or any other big uh, five plus year old buck that might show up back here tonight. So good and wet, should be able to slip in undetected. Um, we're gonna set this rain out and hopefully we'll have some luck. Continue to hang in there and uh, let's see what we can do. All right, everybody. So I had to uh, wait till I got back into the uh, truck here to do my closing interview. Um, just started downpouring right there at sunset. So I got all my stuff put up while I'm getting soaked on the way out. Um, but yeah, a, a very eventful night. Seeing 20, 21 deer at least. Uh, could be more than that. That's just the ones that I would see. A lot of them were from afar, but that's kind of where I want to start talking about is uh, about a hundred plus yards uh, away. So you got to go down through a valley or a creek bottom and then all the way back up another hillside. And over um, on that other hillside, there's an opening between basically two big trees and thicket. Every deer that walked through that opening busted me tonight, or at least st stood there and looked just dead at me. I mean, I filmed one of them and then she wound up actually stomping and taking off out of there. And we're talking a hundred plus yards away. Definitely not my wind. One, my wind was going behind me. So it wouldn't be my wind anyway. Even if it would have been my wind, if it was going that direction, it would have been hitting that bottom and then taking off down that way. Wouldn't surely would not be getting hundred plus yards all the way across that valley. Um, so I think what it is, is just, they're seeing me move. As a matter of fact, the one time, the first one that I noticed that I actually filmed, I was filming another deer and then there she was, just standing on this hillside, bobbing that head up and down, started stomping. So it just to me, it, it, it amazes me that that far away, you know, fully camoed out and everything else, the slightest of movement they can pick up on and hone in where you're at. So 
lesson to be learned stay still in a tree um next most of the deer that we see were from afar like i said um i had several like five or six deer cross that opening but i could only see like their legs some of their bodies i'm pretty sure they were all doe as they made their way up through uh through the woods so i had that little four point uh year and a half year old four point came in he hung out for a while and then he just vanished i never saw him leave i mean he didn't blow out of there or anything he just vanished well then right behind that came a doe and two fawns they're all going to where that corn pile usually is but it's devoured there's nothing there so um had a lot of action tonight just not the right action gonna keep on just putting in the work um, tomorrow morning, going to be back out at the main lease tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to, after we come out, I'm going to bring and replenish this corn and uh, big time 30 out six. I'm not going to put a tank strip out just yet. I'll wait about another week or so, but I just want to keep them in the routine of coming there because if you hold the dough, you're going to get a buck. And then once I implement that tank strip, uh, tank 69 rut uh, drip, that's going to keep the hopefully get the bucks coming and checking that once they aren't thinking right right once they're they're thinking about making love and then they're out there running around all crazy they're going to come back to where they know the doe we're at and where they know there's an active scrape so gonna like i said just going to keep putting in the time and then uh you know eventually it's going to pay off it always does so uh, i think matt's going to try to get out with me tomorrow i'm not sure he's been on call all week so he hasn't been able to hunt but i'm gonna give him a call here in a minute and see if we can formalize a plan for tomorrow continue to hang in there and as always wake up and hunt